Hey everybody. So yesterday I did a video looking at five NHL teams that are off to surprisingly hot starts this season. Teams that are playing really well, winning games, and overall exceeding expectations. If you haven't checked that video out yet, I definitely think that you should. But today I want to look at the other side of that coin. The teams that have been disappointing so far this season aren't playing that well, aren't winning enough games, and just haven't lived up to the expectations that I had for them before the season. Season began. Now, obviously, there's still a lot of hockey left to be played. We're very early in the year, and all of these teams have plenty of time to turn things around, get on track, and eventually become the teams that everyone thought they were going to be. I'm just pointing out that so far this year, right now, they haven't been. So before we begin, this video is brought to you by Piranis Hockey World. Piranis is a huge online selection of name brand hockey equipment and apparel, all available at great prices and to be shipped right to your door. If you or someone you know plays hockey, please check out that link down in the description of the video. Piranis has just about anything that any hockey player could ever want or need. All you have to do is check out that link down in the description. But let's get into it here, starting things off with the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is a team that I thought was going to take a step forward this year, and unfortunately, they have done the exact opposite. They have taken a step back. I thought with Johnny Goodrow coming in and some of the underrated young talent that Columbus has, like Cole Sillinger, Kent Johnson, and Igor Chinnikov, this team was going to be better than they were last season, but so far, they are off to a horrific start. Ten games played, just 3-7-0, and oh, six points, and sitting dead last in the Metropolitan Division, eighth place. This was a team that I thought was going to be maybe a dark horse playoff contender for a wild card spot. I actually predicted them to finish fourth in the Metro, and it has not gone well for Columbus this year. Their goaltending has been horrendous. Uh, their overall d team defense in general has been awful. They're giving up a ton of goals. And uh, it's just been an abysmal start for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Obviously, still a long way to go. They can get better. But uh, these first few weeks have not been good. Next on the list at number four, I have the Nashville Predators, who started their season 2-0 and with a couple wins over in Europe for the NHL Global Series. But since coming back to North America, Nashville has been a massive disappointment one five and one in their seven games since coming back to North America. Overall, just three five and one on the season. Seven points, sitting in sixth place in the Central. And this was a team that I predicted to easily be a playoff team this year. Had them finishing third in the Central Division. I thought they could build off their season last year and get even better this season. But it has been a very, very slow start for Nashville. There's been a few really bad losses in there and games where they've just looked awful. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what is happening with this team or why they haven't been able to get going this season. But it has not been a good start for the Preds. And uh, they're a team that certainly has been a major disappointment in not living up to my expectations so far this season. Speaking of a major disappointment, the St. Louis Blues was it, were a team that I had finishing second in the division and actually thought could be a dark horse contender to be one of the best teams in the NHL this season. And they started their season actually pretty well with a 3-0 and out of the gate, but have since lost five straight games, have sunk down to seventh place in the Central Division, and are just 3-5-0 and overall on the year. And, uh, I mean, this team is way too talented, way too good to be playing like this and to be losing like this. This is a team that I do think is going to get the ship righted and going to get it turned around at some point. But there's no doubt that these first few games, these first couple weeks, have been a major disappointment for the St. Louis Blues. And this team hasn't looked anything like the dark horse contender I thought they were going to be this year. And they, they're going to need to get things back on track rather quickly or they're going to be left behind in this very competitive central division that is not going to be easy to make the playoffs in because there's a lot of good teams in this division. 
and St. Louis was supposed to be one of those good teams, has not been so far this year. Number two on the list, I have the Vancouver Canucks. I think Vancouver's been a major disappointment for just about everybody this year. Nine games played, two five and two record, just six points, six place in the Pacific. Uh, this was a team that I actually had making the playoffs this season, had them finishing fourth and getting in as a wild card team. I thought that they were headed in the right direction after making the coaching change last year. Bruce Boudreau came in, they played a lot better under him, and I thought that was going to carry over into this season. So far, it has not at all. Now, they have won their past couple games and have started to get things on the right track. But the first what, six, seven games of the season, Vancouver blew leads in every single one of them. Uh, they had an absolutely horrific start to the year um, and, and just have not looked like a team that's capable of making the playoffs to this point. Their, their defense needs to tighten up significantly. They need to get better goaltending. They need to lock things down a lot better as far as goals against go. Uh, and then maybe this team has a chance to put some wins in the win column. But it's going to take a real effort now for Vancouver to put these first nine games behind them and really start to, to thrive and start to drive up the standings and get headed in the right direction this year. No doubt their start has been a huge disappointment. And finally, that leaves number one. To me, the most disappointing team in the NHL so far, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Ten games played, just a 4-4-2 record. Ten points, sitting in seventh place in the Atlantic Division. Imagine that. The Toronto Maple Leafs second to last in the division right now. And this was the team that I predicted to win the Atlantic back at the beginning of the year. Obviously has not gotten off to a good start. Uh, there's a lot of attention being play paid now to Toronto. A lot of talk about their coach potentially being fired, Sheldon Keefe. Uh, it's just become an absolute horror show with the Maple Leafs these last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, this is a team that has so much talent on it and is so good or should be so good that the expectations are sky high. And they haven't come close to living up to them to this point in the year. They've got some really, really bad losses against much inferior opponents. They've lost to Arizona. They've lost to the Ducks. They've lost to the Sharks, the Canadians. You know, teams that this team should not be losing to. That has certainly not helped as far as the overall perception of this team goes. And it's not even... What I, th what I thought would sink this team, sinking it right now. You know, I thought if there was one thing that could be a major issue for Toronto and really ruin their season, it was goaltending. But goaltending hasn't been the problem for the Maple Leafs. Ilya Samsonov, even with Matt Murray out injured, has been very solid in net. Uh, his overall numbers are not bad this year. And, and he's giving the team a chance and, and really, you know, keeping them in games. But... It's really been the offense that has not shown up for the Maple Leafs, particularly their big superstars, Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, John Tavares, Willie Nylander. These guys are not producing nearly enough for what you know they're expected to or what they're being paid to. And they also have depth issues on the defensive side of things as well. So uh, it's really been a tough start for Toronto. Obviously, they have a lot of time left to get things turned around. They're only 10 games into the season. They got 72 more to go. It's plenty of time. But uh, something needs to change. It needs to change quickly with the Maple Leafs or they're going to find themselves not fighting for the division lead, but fighting just to try and get into a playoff spot in an extremely improved and competitive Atlantic division this year. So Toronto has definitely been, uh, been a major, major disappointment so far this season. So those are the five teams that, in my opinion, have been the biggest disappointments in the NHL so far this year. Another honorable mention I want to talk about is the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, Colorado is just 4-4-1 and one to start their season, coming off of their Stanley Cup win. Obviously, expectations with the Avalanche are sky high. 
uh, as the defending champs and once again expected to be one of the best teams in the league. However, I'm not super surprised that the Avs are off to a slower start. They had a lot of changes this offseason, losing Nazem Kadri, Darcy Kemper, and Andre Burakovsky. No Gabriel Landeskog so far this year because of injury, so they've lost a top-line winger in their captain. Uh, you know, changes in uh, goaltending. I, I'm not super surprised that the Avalanche have kind of been a little slow out of the gate, but there's no doubt they've been a disappointment because, you know, when you're a team like the Avs and with the roster that the Avs have, you, your expectations are through the roof. And certainly so far, the Avalanche have not lived up to that. However, I do think the Avs are going to get it on track. I do think they're going to end up by the end of the year being right near the top of the league again. And you know, have a shot to win the Western Conference. So I'm not super worried about the Avalanche, but I do think that they deserved mentioning in this video because there's no doubt that a 4-4-1 record to start the season is a disappointment for Colorado. In, in general, cutting this down to just five teams was pretty hard to do because there's certainly a lot more than five teams that have not been exactly living up to expectations so far this year. So you know, I just had I had to cut it down to five, and these were the five that I decided were the biggest disappointments in my personal opinion. But that's going to bring us to the end of this one. If you guys like content like this and want to see more of it, please make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet as well. Have a lot of content coming all NHL season long for you. Thank you guys again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to keep up with all things Off The Wall Hockey, our link tree is linked in the description. And if you want to further support the channel, our merchandise store, memberships, and donation links are down in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you all soon.